Fans beyond wrestling, this is Denver, Colorado, the man, not the place. I want to thank our friends from Wrestle Jam for providing us with this four-way match between Slick Wagner Brown, Gran Akuma, John Silver, and the Juice JT Dunn with Vernon Somoza in his corner. Of course, you can check out the entire Wrestle Jam DVD for only $5, featuring matches like Hollow Wicked versus Brian Fury versus Jerry Lynn, as well as the ladder match between Dave Cole and Nocturne. The loser must leave Connecticut forever. But on to the action right here. We've got a hell of a four-way. Slick Wagner Brown, a mainstay on the independent circuit, especially in New England, for a number of years. Gran Akuma, one of the top students to come out of the Chicago Wrestle Factory. John Silver, somebody who's making a name for himself at New York Wrestling Connection, as well as Evolve and Dragon Gate USA. And of course, Beyond Wrestling's own JT Dunn. It's very interesting to point out right here that we have Vernon Somoza in his corner instead of John Horner. Of course, JT Dunn was on a losing streak, joined up with the professional revolution. But based on the performances that he's been putting out, a lot of the fans of Beyond Wrestling have wanted to see him become his own man to represent himself. He doesn't need to be represented by the professional revolution. He has all the tools to be a skilled competitor on his own. He's going to be trying to prove that tonight against three of the top competitors on the scene. Of course, Wrestle Jam, a yearly event till recently. Two Wrestle Jams this year. Putting on some of the best matches that Connecticut has ever seen. You see Grant Akuma the way is just bending the leg of JT Dunn, but JT Dunn able to find an escape up to that side headlock and able to take Akuma down to the mat. I believe this is the first time ever encounter between these two, so it's not surprising to see a feeling out process. They're going to be judging to see how strong they are compared to one another. Perhaps to see if there's any chinks in the armor. I've got to say there's very few chinks in the armor of Gran Akuma, a competitor who very rarely makes any mistakes. And he's really been on a roll, especially since earning a contract with Jakara earlier this year, a full-time spot back on the roster after a departure from the promotion for a few years. But JT Dunn with a veteran maneuver, knowing where he was in the ring at all times, close enough to the ropes that he was able to find an escape from that bow and arrow. Akuma was forced to release the hold, and we've got a standoff. Now we see John Silver and Slick Wagner Brown tagged into this contest. Slick Wagner Brown with a definitive size and strength advantage over all other competitors in this contest. He also has the experience advantage. As a result, I'm going to say that he's the favorite to win this match. But you can never underestimate heart and youthful exuberance, and that is what John Silver embodies here in this matchup. He's not going to be rolling over for anybody. Very compact individual, deceivingly strong. One hell of a striker, too. There you see Slick Wagner Brown shoving him away. John Silver trying not to get frustrated. Still going to be looking to show up the veteran as they tie up once again. Silver able to power Slick Wagner Brown down to one knee for just a moment. As these two are still jockeying for position, Slick Wagner Brown able to push his opponent back first into the corner. And instead of getting a clean break, Silver's unloading with a series of forearms. Now coming off the ropes, it's the waiting arms of Slick Wagner Brown who just slams him down to the mat. But John Silver able to get out of the way of that leg drop. And the elevation on that hang time drop kick. Both feet finding the mark on Slick Wagner Brown. Brown having to retreat to the corner. And Silver looking for that monkey flip. But Brown just too strong. Now Silver going for that flying crossbody. He got it. John Silver is going to keep the attack on Slick Wagner Brown. But just like that, the tables have turned. Trying to trip up Slick Wagner Brown. Instead, Slick Wagner Brown holding on to the ropes. And just a boot to the head. Silver came crashing down hard when he missed that drop kick. And the veteran back in control. Able to get the boot up. And JT Dunn tagging himself in and coming in with that lung blower. Now going for the pin. Once again, only a two count. 
Again, we've seen a lot of promise out of JT Tunn. The way that he's developed in Beyond Wrestling over the last year has been nothing short of incredible. Most recently competing in Everett, Massachusetts for the Chikara Young Lions Cup. Of course, that cup was won by Mr. Touchdown in the finals against ACH. But JT Dunn putting up an impressive show nevertheless. Such a huge opportunity for a competitor with his level of experience. Of course, JT Dunn has gone to great lengths to improve his physique too, his conditioning. This kid's always in the gym. He's proud to tell people about it too. But right here, he might be outmatched by John Silver just wailing on him. Silver's gone berserk. And now JT Dunn with rapid fire shots to the back of the head, forcing Silver to cover up. Dunn able to roll him on his back. I was trying to go for that arm bar. But John Silver, the perfect counter. Not, not only is he able to keep his shoulder off the mat, we see the official checking right there, but he's able to block. And as JT Dunn was trying to attack the midsection, he got caught with a kick from Silver. Silver connected with that European uppercut. Very fierce competitor. Perhaps the most intense in competitor in this contest, but maybe not the best striker. Because Grant Akuma came in and with one kick shut John Silver down. Now he's trying to tie up those legs. And take a look at the positioning of Grant Akuma's right foot. The position of that alone is going to make it very difficult for John Silver to escape this hold with his legs tied up. He's going to have to free that foot from underneath Grant Akuma's if he wants to escape. And his elbow's basically having no effect at Grant Akuma now. Again, with the pressure applied, he's got John Silver in a situation where he may have to submit. We see the other wrestlers surveying the situation from the apron. I believe this contest is one fall to a finish. I'm surprised the other wrestlers didn't interject themselves sooner. Slick Wagner Brown tagging himself in. Just putting the boost to John Silver. Now it's going to be picking him up. And just driving him on the knee. That pendulum style backbreaker. And now just pushing away, bending Silver's body over his own knee. And JT Dunn coming in with a shot to the back of the head. Slick Wagner Brown shooting the daggers at him, but you can't blame him. I mean, JT Dunn doing what he can to keep this contest alive. On one hand, yeah, you want Slick Wagner Brown to wear down John Silver. It's gonna make it easy pickings when he finds himself back into this contest. But if Brown defeats him, that's gonna be it. But Slick Wagner Brown really slowing down the pace of this contest so that he can dictate it. But John Silver able to move out of the way. Caught him with a kick to the face. Sent a JT Dunn in and just driving him, snapmaring him in that bottom turnbuckle. And now just launching himself across the ring with that cannonball, that cannonball style attack, and again! John Silver's a madman! Now Silver, both opponents hooked up, and able to hit that double stunner. Going for the pin on JT Dunn, but Akuma's there to break it up before the three count. Kuma Smart waiting on the outside, letting all three of these guys beat the hell out of each other. He's got the counter for Silver. How quick was that shot to the midsection? But just like that, Silver able to count out that powerbomb with an arm drag, but he gets set into the ropes and dumped right on his head with that release German suplex. Incredible impact on that hole. And now Akuma's got Silver up again. All of his weight driving Silver between his shoulders and the mat. Silver's amazingly out at two. And that was probably Akuma's best chance to win this contest. Slick Wagner Brown and JT Dunn both nursing their injuries. You see Slick Wagner in the corner of the ring. JT Dunn, I believe, is out on the floor. And Akuma going for that powerbomb once again, now transitioning into that gory special, trying to hook up the legs. Has that submission hold. It's not very often that it's smart to utilize a submission hold in a four-way, but that was a great one to use because he would have been able to mobilize himself around the ring to see where all of his opponents were at all times. But nevertheless, Silver is just an unstoppable force of hatred and destruction. Look at that flipping cutter. What's going to put away John Silver in this contest? And JT Dunn finally back in the ring. A stomp to the head, able to break up the pin, but is anybody going to be able to stop Silver in this match? 
What a great showing from this young athlete. Here we see Silver. A couple shots to the head. JT done really worse for wear hair. Trying to counter that suplex, perhaps a brain buster attempt with one of his own. These two struggling, trying to muscle each other over. Neither can get the leverage that they need. That time JT Dunn able to catch the knee. Transitions to a waist lock. But Silver again putting on the brakes. A couple shots to the head following up that Enziguri. JT Dunn stumbling around. And look at this combination of offense. Slick Wagner Brown coming out of the heavens with that leg lariat. And that huge leg taking out both of his opponents. But Akuma finally breaking up just in the nick of time. Akuma, that spinning soul bump, finding the mark. That kick to the chest. Slick Wagner Brown able to kick away the arm. Got Akuma hooked up for that half and half suplex. Just dumped him on his skull. Slick Wagner Brown, he's gonna go to the top. You're gonna be kidding me. A competitor of this size is gonna be looking to fly. Oh, taking too much time, he got crotched. Akuma with a kick to the chest again. And this is where Akuma likes to utilize that spider style suplex. He's gonna be looking for a spider T-bone. But instead, Slick Wagner Brown pushing him down. Akuma's still caught up on the ropes. But JT Dunn and John Silver with a series of shots to both of their opponents. Akuma, there you see, positioned himself on the apron. Slick Wagner Brown falling out to the floor. And it's up to the two young guns to pick up the pace of this contest. Again, neither of these guys slouches in the striking department. Every one of these shots a potential knockout blow. You know, I gotta tell you, representing Beyond Wrestling, I'm really pulling for JT Dunn in this one, despite his affiliation with the professional revolution, but I don't think anybody's gonna be able to overcome John Silver. How many shots was that? He, he must have hit a dozen shots in two seconds, but ran into the big boot of JT Dunn. Now JT Dunn looking for that Dave Cole bomb. Oh, picture perfect, but as he goes into the pin, Akuma's right in there. Now Akuma holding Silver in position. Silver realizing where he is right now. But Silver going to dive on the outside. Taking down Vernon Samoza. I think Slick Wagner Brown was out of the way. I don't think he got the brunt of that. And now it's up to JT Dunn to try and knock off Grant Akuma. That will be no easy feat. But Dunn turned his attention to the outside. And again diving on Slick Wagner Brown. And the number one, John Silver. Akuma's well, looking to fly. JT Dunn better get back in the ring quick or else he's gonna be a target. Dunn, I'm not even sure if he knows where he is right now. Akuma getting the momentum off the ropes. He got caught with a kick to the side of the head. JT Dunn might have a beat. Going for that flying head scissors, but it's countered. Oh, and Grant Akuma planting the knees. He must have knocked the wind out of one. Two, three, and Grant Akuma beating JT Dunn, Slick Wagner Brown, and John Silver. But a great outing out of all four of these athletes. And again, if you want to see the full Wrestle Jam DVD, it is available for only $5. Again, the link here in the description of this video. We want to thank our friends at Wrestle Jam for giving us this match here for youtube.com slash beyond wrestling. And please make sure to subscribe for free weekly matches.